what you're ready for this man Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Big Vapor's E-Juice Reviews. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, one of my favorite uh, vendors. I probably shouldn't say that in a review, but I do happen to really like, um, I really love their juice and I really love uh, the people who run the business. They're absolutely uh, some of the friendliest uh, people uh, out there by far. Uh, They're really active on Twitter and Facebook, and uh, they're always very easy to deal with through emails and customer service, etc. So they're just a really great company, and that company is Stinky Canuck. And no, they did not pay me to say any of this, even though they sent me this really bomb shirt. But I think they sent me this bomb shirt only because I made a comment on the Real Max, and I'll put a link to um, I'll put a link in the description to the Real Mac. He's an, he's another fellow Canadian e-juice reviewer he was doing a review on stinky canuck and he was pimping out one of these teas and i was like what i never got a tea and i didn't say it because i was hoping that stinky canuck would send me one but they did and that's awesome so props thank you stinky canuck i will wear this with pride i freaking love it the beaver everything about it great look okay so to the review so I don't know how many people are aware of this outside of Canada, but I know in Canada there's been a lot of talk about it. There are a bunch of Canadian vendors that are now carrying Pink Spot Vapors e-juice, which is awesome. Uh, Makes it a little easier for us Canadians to gain access to some of the greatest juice out there. Um, If you've seen uh, a bunch of my reviews before and you follow me, then you know I did a whole series on Pink Spot Vapors e-juice. Love their juice. So it's great to see Canadian vendors uh, are have picked it up that uh, they are now carrying it. And Stinky Canuck does. So in this review, we're going to talk about one of the new juices that Stinky Canuck is carrying by Pink Spot Vapors. I'm not sure how to say that. If it's the juice is from Pink Spot or if it's from... Uh, if it's from uh, Stinky Canuck, or if it's from Stinky Canuck by Pink Vapors. Either way, it's a pink spot juice carried by Stinky Canuck. And this is Black Mamba. Very cool. Black Mamba. I have not tried this one yet, and I've tried a lot of pink spot vapors juice. This is 12 milligrams of Nick, and I believe it is a 50 50 mix. So, Black Mamba. It's actually named after the drink. Like a lot of Pink Spots juices, they are named after uh, drinks. There's quite a few of them, actually. Um, And this is another one. I believe the ingredients are blackberry, cranberry, and citrus. Don't hold me to it. I should probably check the Pink Spot site first. In any regards, I believe that's what's in a Black Mamba. I asked my wife last night. She's like, oh, yeah, I've had Black Mambas before. It smells incredible. It's funny, though, and I don't know if it's because of the combination of blackberry, cranberry, and whatever, but it almost smells like grape, but not a strong, strong grape, but a a subtle hint of grape. But that's probably the blackberry coming through, and you do definitely smell a bit of that citrus. So uh, let's take a toot. I'm going to be dripping this on my Lavatube 1.5 tea with a dual coil... Addy, low res Addy from Vaporous. And I've got my Bomb Empire Mod drip tip with my Bomb Empire Mod Scully. Sorry, drip shield and Scully drip tip. I like to call this Castle Grayskull. All right, let's take a quick toot off of here. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Perfection as usual. I just love Pink Spot's uh, juice. You really taste... Actually, it's funny. You really do taste uh, the blackberry quite a bit. It almost comes through as grape. I can sort of taste the cranberry, but I'm not quite sure. And on the exhale, I definitely do taste uh, some of the citrus. Uh, I should mention I am vaping this at uh, 4 Usually I vape at 4.2. Let's just crank this up to 4.2. Take another toot here. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Way better. 
lots of vapor, great flavor, good throat hit as usual. It's only 12 milligrams, but it's still a good throat hit. Uh, I like my juices at 12. I started pretty high around 36, and I've been lowering them over uh, over the past few months. But I don't plan on, I think, going below 12. I really like the 12 milligram. Um, it's a great juice. It really is a great juice. It vapes very well. Um, it vapes great on a Stardust. I vaped it already on my Ego C Twist, and I vaped it on a standard Ego, and it, grapes, it, it uh, vapes really well in a Cardo, vapes really well in a Stardust, and of course, it's, uh, it's a great juice to drip. So that is Black Mamba, like the snake, I believe, is the logo that Pink Spot uses. It's a big, giant snake. It's the Black Mamba Cranberry... Uh, blackberry and citrus, uh, named after a drink from Stinky Canuck in Canada. And uh, go get this juice. It is an awesome juice. I'll put all the links in the description. So as usual, follow me on Twitter, at Digibomb. Check out the website, bigvapors.wordpress.com. And I'm going to leave you with another toot of this really refreshing juice on a very early morning here in Montreal. I'm actually uh, on my way out of town in about an hour or two. Gonna take a plane, gotta go to Fan Expo for any of you comic and sci-fi geeks out there. One of the perks of my job is I get to go to these events. Okay, I'm over talking. A three minute review has now turned into a six minute review. I should really shut up. All right, here's the two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And see you on the flip side. Alright, y'all ready for this, man? What are the things?